come back. I have to say I'm quite nervous about this date, but I think the whole idea is we like to get outside our comfort zone, outside the so-called box we put ourselves into and try to... So that's what I'm trying to do with this day, trying to explore, trying to get to know you as much as you get to know me and I get to know myself also. Thank you for inviting me on this date. <laughs> Thank you for coming. So I just want to know real quick because you exude so much intelligence and glory and power and beauty. Okay. I just want to know when did all of this begin for you? At what point, at what age did you realize, oh my god, I'm awesome? <laughs> Well, I've always known I'm awesome because, well, it can't be all of this, I don't know it. <laughs> of course, I've not been so confident because some things have to take time, experience, exposure, and those process takes time. And to get myself to this point where I'm actually sitting in front of a sitting in front of you talking it's mind-blowing like i'm like oh my god you're actually sitting in front of those people and just talking and, and it's it's beautiful because 50 years from now i want to also look at hopefully i'm still alive anyways i want to look at this video like look at this you know and it's just me trying to leave leave a little <laughs> like a like a so growing up in nigeria and being queer if that's the word i should use i want to go queer because yeah it's not just the lesbians that are watching you a lot of people watch you and your girlfriend <laughs> so growing up in nigeria growing up queer at what point did you realize that you were different and how did you deal with that oh boy okay i need some wine motivation <laughs> <laughs> my god you look good <laughs> <laughs> thank you Okay, first, the first time I ever heard the word lesbian, I was nine years old and I was in GSS1 and it was my best friend at that time that told me that, oh, she was watching a TV show and um, there's this lesbian couples that were just talking. This is like far back in 2000, yeah? And I was intrigued. I didn't watch it. I didn't know what it was, but the knowledge came into my head, yeah? Before then, I'd had like very... <laughs> Well, I've had experiences and all of that, but the word itself came to me then. And I'm so glad I can remember because sometimes these memories, they get very foggy. Because at some point when you're queer and you're in Nigeria, you have to kill yourself. You have to not be there because when you think about all this fact, so many things, you get overwhelmed, yeah? So most times I blow some of these things out and the knowledge escaped me and I get so scared like where did I come from? How did I get here? And having conversations like this make me go back. Not just for you I'm talking to right now but for myself also like huh it's also therapeutic to go back and refresh. And officially I can say I got my first ever girlfriend when I was I think 15. I had to go through the whole of secondary school and get out of secondary school before that happened. Being queer and being in Nigeria is so crazy you guys. It is mental fuckery. <gasps> first you're trying to understand yourself. Then there's this other person too trying to understand themselves in different light. Your struggles are different from theirs. Theirs are different from yours and you're all just trying to like exist so it starts off it usually starts off as friends right best friend whatnot and it just gets wild and wild before then of course i had like advances because i've always been a tomboy so people want to approach you they don't even need to ask you if you're gay or whatnot and they just assume i think it was it was the year um pope john paul died i can't remember which one and i was watching the news the tv and all i just heard from the news then was um he was not in support of homosexuality subconsciously i'm attracted to girls like i like girls in my secondary school there are girls that oh my god i had mad crush on but all i know for sure was Pop John Paul do not like it. So when girls come to me or approach me, all that girls, I'm like, nope, 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 nope. That was just the standard, nothing else. That was just the standard I used. Then I met this girl. <laughs> uh, well, she was, she was into all of this. I was attracted to her and we had the opportunity to experience each other. And it was a wow win. Like
like it was up that up that i was 15 she was 16. can you imagine <laughs> and by the way we dated for i think seven years seven years man till i was like 22 like i think i was about to graduate from college when we finally broke up like she went to university graduated did her services and then we were still together and can you imagine the amount of emotional turmoil up and down that i've gone on from 15 16 years old kids to people that go to university she was a winner she goes to church i i dabble in church sometimes and then one time <laughs> i really went into church and it was an emotional battle up and down we started off as close friends and then she started getting somehow somehow <laughs> it was very difficult to define things boys would just say things like Ah, you know if you did that girl because you kind of go let you you know and then um people would just beef me and eat on me because she was quite a beautiful girl like while i'm also on this journey like i'm trying to figure out myself i'm trying to understand what's going on as a young teenager growing up i was like okay i want to make heaven yeah so you do everything right you do good you make sure you return somebody's matches if you borrow it if you take something you give it back and the only thing in my supposed book that could stop me from going to heaven and that was the devil of it all. So before people started hating me, I hated myself because I want to make everyone. I love Jesus. I love God as a young kid growing up. So it was just that thorn in my flesh that I was always beating myself up about. And so I tried to do different things. I went into church, tried to, you know, nobody tried to deliver me because nobody was even close to me, but I tried to deliver myself. Nobody could really like understand. Then I have friends too that would just come and ask me randomly, how far are you a lesbian? I'm here in a party. And of course, like I would like, no, 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 you know, this, that. Bonding with a girl that, you know, can relate to you and you relate to on that level at that age was such an impossible thing, really, because you're best friends with somebody, but you never want to pass that boundary because you never know how they feel. This is not something we talk about. Like, I don't look at my female best friend and say, I like you, I want to kiss you, you know? It's nothing, it's a taboo. Even before she met me, she had like a friend that was, that was like crazy about in love with her, but they never had that conversation. That never happened. So that one always had this, long lost feeling for her and then when she found out that just from from people talking on the streets man just from people coming up with assumptions and things she was like no 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 i was here first and then there was that also to deal with and it was an emotional up in battles you know and then she goes to church sometimes and she feels like you know what i can't be doing this i don't want to go to hell we should stop this and then i'm like okay i'm so sorry okay we should stop and we try to stop then one thing leads to another it's a 360 degree back again she was in complete denial and in between trying to get a relationship going on with her she has other people she's looking at other guys trying out to see but she always falls back so it wasn't it was terrible really like how can a young child have to go through all of that not because it was anybody's fault because i was also she was spiraling i was spiraling because she cannot understand why she has these feelings for me i can't understand why i have these feelings for her and we can't explain it but we find ourselves here yeah, she goes on her own redemption trip i go on my own redemption trip and then we do a 360 and then find ourselves back here again and we're like oh my god i'm so sorry we cry we pray we you know it was it was terrible and then the random questions of people telling you like oh pray oh fast and then random people asking you questions like um are you a lesbian and you're like no 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 and she telling me that okay you know what this has to be a secret promise me you'll never tell anybody about this it was terrible it was really really terrible and we had a real life relationship we had dates we had birthdays we were in each other's life but it made me have to like get the mentality i have to settle you have to settle or you have to compromise or something and we're young kids so we find different ways to cope with this you try to date other people you try to do other things you try to sleep around whatever it is just to try and get you balanced but nothing works you go to church you join whatever you need to do you get committed to the church program nothing helps you and you're a kid that can't talk to anybody about it so you just have this nagging thing like your achilles ill just nagging at you until you discover self-love then fuck whatever fuck whoever is fucked like seriously <laughs> like no know yourself know what you feel know how you feel trust yourself that's all like you don't stop believing in god you don't stop believing in jesus you don't stop loving god you don't stop no just love yourself that is the only thing it takes really the moment 
means you love yourself. You don't see yourself as a sin. You don't see yourself as anything terrible. That's all. Like, you don't need to convince people to love you. No, just love yourself. Because nothing else would work. Nothing else. I assure you, I've gone like a 360. Build careers. Build whatever needs to be built. Do whatever needs to be done. Just to, you know, fit in. Be normal. And it does not work. I'm, I'm considered an overachiever. Because I feel the need to overcompensate. Maybe if I'm not a riffraff. Maybe if I'm rich. Maybe if I have this pedigree. Maybe if I'm learned enough, the society will overlook my, my homosexuality or my sexuality. I try to overcompensate. Like, that's the reason why right now I'm doing a PhD. I don't even know why I'm doing a PhD, but I'm doing it because, well, being called a doctor gets you some kind of prestige. People believe in you some certain ways. And also, of course, it motivates younger people. You don't have to be a riffraff, like, really. You can do whatever it is you're doing, and that does not even define your achievements or your purpose. No. Like, you can be great. You can can be a doctorate degree and still have dreadlocks. Like, pfft, who cares? They think it matters. It doesn't. And that's the purpose. Like, the purpose is to tell them that, you see, I can be all of these things and be so many things. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't at all. It doesn't define me. That's part of the package. self love open your eyes in ways that it won't be you're influenced or you're in doubt because it's yourself. You're dealing with yourself. Every other person just sees what you project, what you look like, what you say, what you... But you deal with yourself. You know your real struggles. So once you love yourself, then it's able to make other people love you because they see you. They now see you. And if they don't, it doesn't even matter because you love yourself you deal with yourself you sleep with yourself you wake up with yourself so any other thing anyone is saying before they take me for the divine, I don't take myself you don't understand nothing else you're gonna say is gonna make me feel like oh fam I've been there and then do you know what I discovered self-love and it's okay if you hate me because why you can't love me the way I love myself so it's alright it's my responsibility to love myself this life um, I came here for myself. And what I owe to the world, to society, the community is just to do right by everybody that comes along. And, and just too. hope that they do right by me. And if they don't, it's all right. It's self -love. called self love. <laughs> <laughs> love your dad, your mom, your family. Love God. But first, self love. Because when you love yourself, oh my God, it redeems you from so much bullshit, so much indoctrination. Like, you, you're able to feel that the bullshit from the, from the sense. I feel so bad when you come out to your parents and they don't accept you. Oh my God, it's like, what? You have a child, you see this child, you teach them, you nurture them. And you don't even trust your nurturing. You brought them up. They grew up in a society that you cultured. That you built up. So why shouldn't you love them? Because you don't even love yourself. Yeah. That's just it. So I preach self-love, yo. You can focus on what's important. Sustainability. A good life. Equality. Instead of all this unnecessaryness. Rape is going on. Rape is going on. But the, the, the House of Reps, the Assembly, the Congress, they're not sitting down and making news about this. They're not making laws about this. But gay marriage. They just, yeah, it's flip. Before, I never knew Nigeria government was so fast. The way they just came up with 14 years what so this is something you guys are having a conversation about but you're not having conversation about light you're not having conversation about road about equality about human life or you can have conversation to just pick a group of people and just send them to 14 years for what for loving who they love that loves them back oh come on anyways it's such a struggle then you deal with family then you deal with what does this uncle thing this great grand uncle this great aunt auntie this this mom this dad and when you think about so many people my guy never ends because why you think of your family you think of your friends like what would this person think what if this person sees this one what if that one sees that one what about you self-love is the only thing that can really break you really from anything just love yourself acknowledge to yourself do better learn grow build I think gay is not a reason to not be owning your shit till today i still have struggles i'm doing a project with my friend i'm like huh if he finds out i'm gay I, I, is he gonna decide that we shouldn't do this project again i have a friend a very close friend like consider one of my best friend in college and he stopped watching white collar because he found out that the actor there is is gay and he was having a conversation with me like this guy is gay i'm gonna stop watching we loved white collar like we always watch it but he had such strong feelings about being gay that he felt like Oh, because this actor is gay, I'm gonna stop watching this series and I'm gay. What do I say to such a friend? Like, I just like, hmm, okay. So it's such a struggle. Your friends don't, don't understand, don't accept. Like, how do you come out to such a person? You just know that. <laughs> Forget about it. So even while you come out, you still have to keep coming out. You still have to be in like 
ah, am I being true to myself? So when you think you want to consider everybody's feelings, everybody's feelings, my guy, you will not survive it because you can't even really know what people's feelings and intentions are because they don't know themselves. People are so fickle. They go with the trend, the moves, whatever, whatever rocks their boat, whatever they feel good with. So how do you judge yourself? You, you live your life based on that. That can't work for you. When I travel out of the country, ah, yes, hallelujah. And even then, I still, I doubt about myself. Like, I love Nigeria so much. Like, I was still saying I was going to come back irrespective. And it even crossed my mind that, ah, this is an opportunity to escape or run away. No, it was still a battle I was still fighting, battle I was still dealing with. You travel abroad, ah, it's, it's, it's going be easy. Everything will be fine, blah, blah, blah. But you're still dealing with yourself. Yourself is the person that still travel abroad. So whatever battles, insecurity, doubt, hatred you feel for yourself, it traveled with you, you that plane too. <laughs> you know, and you have to deal with them one after the other because until you deal with them, until you learn self-love, no progress, fam. You still be on an emotional roller coaster. You still be going back and forth. You still be compromising. Still be. You won't have a definition for yourself. You care about who I sleep with? No. You don't want to think about me having sex if you're my mother. Whether it's a boy, whether it's a girl. No, you don't. So what? And then all of a sudden, it makes sense because it's, it bothers you why? Because of what your Shakira will see, or your Bossy will see, or Papa Namdi will say. It's quite disheartening. It's quite a struggle. I walk down the street, even right now and i'm so i'm so defensive i'm i'm so i'm so uptight i'm so i'm not relaxed i'm thinking hmm if somebody is gonna throw a punch am i gonna bed <laughs> i have to remind myself so right now like, relax come on it's okay whether you travel abroad whether you stay in nigeria whatever it is you do as far as you're a nigerian or you're an african basically the indoctrination is in you and the only way to beat it is to love yourself once you love yourself every other thing making a decision to tell this person or not tell this person to talk about this or not talk about this because they're uncomfortable situations you find yourself and you just smile through it and you feel like huh, I betrayed myself by smiling you know like when you say ah you find a good husband and you just smile and you're like ah I betrayed myself you like your insides torn everything don't sit right with you but you swallow it I'm like mm let's just move on you know when you love yourself you're able to determine where to say you know what no I'm not getting married to a husband I want you to just say ah this is just a random person giving their opinion yeah it, because you're yourself you're loving yourself you're representing yourself it doesn't matter how any other person feel and unfortunately because of how people the supposed straight people perceive queer people it's a constant struggle like a constant it never stops like you come out to your mom or your dad or your parents you think you're insane nah when you enter a cab, you still have to be conscious. When you when you enter a taxi, you still have to be conscious. When you enter a bike, you still have to be conscious. When you, like it's a consciousness that is always with you, and that's no way for a human being to live. In their country where they were born, they didn't ask to be born. They didn't write application or visa. I didn't ask to be born in Nigeria, fam. It's quite, it's quite a uh, uh, so, but it's also interesting, you know, being out of your comfort zone, discover yourself. The process that gets you to self love humbles you because i'm a smart one like i like to believe i'm smart i like to believe i've got all bases covered i'm knowledgeable and then you realize it's not a b c d it's not one two three it's just the process that works for you like your processes sometimes i'm like huh what if this uncle sees this what if this person and, psh, psh, please they don't have data to buy internet and you're budging your own existence i'm so scared of that like that is one of the things that scares me but being true to yourself makes you like ah oh, it's all right if this is what i come to this life to do to just be myself live my it's it's fine what is in this life what what that's it. <laughs> don't mind me i'm just trying to lighten up the mood you know because i've been quite serious and well let's drink some wine maybe that would <laughs> get us less dense ah oh, but it's been beautiful listening to you yeah it so, really has been <laughs> so tell me tell me tell me yeah what do you want to know what do you want to know what do you want to know <laughs> so some people think that it's easier for you to be in this position because you're in a relationship like you think oh if you're queer and you're single you can't really find this kind of love for yourself do you think you can get to this point of self-love and self acceptance and boldness even when you're single 
Whatever partner you have, they're going through their own struggles. Dealing with a partner is double the stress because you deal with yourself, your emotions, your feelings, and then you try to understand them too. It's more difficult. Having a partner even makes your eye blurry. You have their second opinion when you don't love yourself yet. So it's also blurry. Except you have a partner that loves you and compliments you. Then you reach jackpot. My progress to self-love was a combination of everything the hurts the betrayal the stupidness the sense the nonsense the love everything got me to this point not oh because now i have a girlfriend but the progress the story got me to this point where i'm like okay it's fine but here i this fine as far as i love myself i'm true to myself it's it's all right really if you know any queer one whether your friend whether an acquaintance show them some love because mm -mm. Before they come to Twitter, they'll be exchanging words with you. My guy, they fought battles with themselves. And that's the worst battle to fight with yourself. You probably don't need to say things. The things they brought you up with will say them inside of you. You battle them. Whether out or not, you're out, you're still battling. You're just fighting a different kind of battle, but still the same. You're not, you're not out. You're fighting much more battles because you the battle is still even with yourself. Just show them the what would what would it take you? The struggle is real, even in, in heterosexual relationships. So imagine more sexual relationship, person slap you, you know, won't fit up. You can't even tell your friend I see you. No, because why? Nobody understands the concept of this relationship. People ask, why are you so close with this person? What is the apple? With such disdain, such judgment, unnecessariness. Like such unnecessariness. So show some love. Love should be something that should know no boundary, no color, no gender. See me saying love don't care. Love really do not care. I didn't know I would talk this much because man. I hope to see you guys sometime soon. Subscribe. Let's communicate. Let's dialogue. Let's experience each other again. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let's have a conversation and um <laughs> Oh yes guys, you guys are seeing me now. Subscribe, like mm, baby, this is so great. <laughs> Subscribe, like end the video. I want to pee. End the video. I'll die it. So hey guys. My name is Lion Car, Lion Car Warsome. You know, I see the hot. Sometimes we we hurt. Bye, bye, bye. bye guys! <laughs> so it was nice having a date with you guys. Bye. Yeah, my leg go. So what should I do next? Should I tap stop?